and welcome to Model Kit Stuff. Um, hopefully welcome back to some, to some of you. Um, I just wanted to do um, um, a series of videos introducing some of the, the projects that I've currently got on the go. Um, with my channel being relatively new, um, just a few weeks old, um, inevitably that comes in uh, part way through some of my projects. Like many people that build model kits, um, I don't just have one on a go at a time. I tend to find that four is my optimum number, um, although I've got five on the go at the moment. Um, so I'll always have uh, at least one big project on the go and that'll take se several months to do. Then I'll have a medium sized project which is um, involved but would get completed over several weeks. Um, I have a little small gap filler project which is usually a 172 fighter aircraft or something like that that I can pick up while the glue is drying on whatever I'm doing um, and I always have a ship build on the go um, so I, I primarily see myself as a as a ship uh, model builder um, but I do increasingly do quite a bit of aircraft at the moment so the, the projects that I've got on at the moment, and, I, and I'll show you in, in detail one of those now and introduce you to where I'm up to, and then I'll continue to post um, uh, more on these builds as, as they continue through. So I, I just want to get you up to speed with, with some of them really. Um, so currently we've got the Airfix 124 Hellcat, which I would say I'm two thirds of the way through maybe um, uh, the, the fuselage is built um, the wings are built the engine is built so the engine mounting and panels and bits and pieces need to be done um, uh, and, a, and a, a bit of the paintwork needs to be done and and, and the undercarriage needs to be built um, so that's it, it, it feels like there's probably more to do than it sounds on that um, but that's a thoroughly interesting build, a great little build, and I'll introduce you um, to that in a separate video. Uh, the other big project that I've got is um, Trumpeter's 1200 scale Arizona. And again, I'll do a separate video and, and, and introduce that. Um, that's at relatively early stages of, of the build, so that's a, a, good, a good time to join that. Um, I have the JU-52 build which I've just started and, and I've started doing that from scratch um, and then I have um, Airfix's um, Type 45 Destroyer which is the one I'm going to introduce you to on, on this video. Um, so um, before I show you the build um, just a, a, a couple of uh, my thoughts on the on the Type 45 as, as a model kit. There, there are two 1350 scale kits out to my knowledge. Um, Airfix have just re-released their T, uh, Type 45 destroyer. Um, they released it a, a couple of years back um, and Trumpeter also do a Type, type 45. I have both kits um, uh, and if you're thinking about doing a Type 45 then absolutely buy the Airfix one. Um, that there are an, there are a lot of issues with the with the trumpeter one, um, and I'll just briefly run those through for you. So with the trumpeter one, it does um, HMS daring only, whereas the Airfix one uh, can be any of the six destroyers in that class. Um, the trumpeter one has the dimensions of the um, the hull wrong, and it's a bit short. You, you wouldn't necessarily notice, but but it but it is. Um, both kits have an issue with the placement of the of the bow anchor on the um, starboard side um, but when you look overall at the trumpeter kit it's a standard offering where you get um, a bit of photo etch um, and the, the usual um, uh, sort of fit so it, it's really nice to build in, in, in terms of fit However, the issue is that most of the components on it are oversized. Um, uh, to give you an example, they've decided to, sh to, to um, give you the surveillance cameras. And the surveillance cameras are about the size of a, a person when you scale them. 
Um, so they're, they're way too big. Um, because they only do the daring option, um, a lot of the um, uh, additional weaponry uh, on, on the bow end is, is just not there. You've not got an option to put it in. Um, you've just got the blanking plates. So it, it lacks something there. Um, it has um, etched panels for things that don't need to be etched panels. Um, and and, and um, but it has um, some some nicer helicopters than the Airfix kit because they're the, the clear ones that Trumpetoros do. So you've got nice clear glass. You don't have to paint black or grey glass. Um, when when you look at the Airfix kit, the, the the fit is a lot more problematic. They have a a tab system that that doesn't particularly work, and you end up cutting all the location tabs off to get the parts to fit. Um, so you have more work in terms of, of filling and sanding and, 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 and that sort of stuff, but it has masses and masses and masses of surface detail. It's dimensionally accurate. Um, it has an open bridge, so um, with um, the interior all modelled, whereas the trumpeter one has blanked off windows that you have to paint or cut out and there's no interior. Um, it has... Um, options, um, better options around the helicopters in, in as much as it has two different types. Although I prefer the trumpeter style helicopter. Um, the the um, boats that come with it, the ship's boats, uh, are more accurate. The, the um, uh, secondary weaponry on it is better scaled. Um, and the overall look of it when it when when it's finished, I think it is much better. So I've ended up building um, uh, the Airfix kit, and I thought I'd use the Trumpeter one to um, replace some of the Airfix parts. And the reality is, there is just only one part that I've used, and that's some of the etched um, grills, which add a little bit of of a, of a dimension um, at, um, to it. Um, because they're also missing from the etch upgrade set that I'm using. So let's have a look at it and introduce you to where I'm up to. So here we are, this is my, my build so far. You can see that um, I've gone with the waterline version, which again is something you can do with the Airfix kit that you can't do with the trumpeter kit um, without taking a saw to it and, and butchering it. You have the option with the Airfix kit. Um, and, and I'm gonna display it on, a, on the ocean. Um, so if we start at, at this end, um, what I'm doing is I, I'm building the kit, uh, the, the way I build ships is from the middle upwards and outwards, that's always made sense to me, it, it, it's how I build. So, um, and I'm using um, Atlantic Models um, etch upgrade set, um, which is fantastic, particularly puts a lot of detail into the hangar area there. So I'm still working on that at the moment, you can see there, those little white strips are strip lights that I've scratch built. So we've got the the flight deck at the back there. Um, the um, high up arm has been extended. Um, there's some Edward Etch figures in there, um, but the rest of it is from the Atlantic Models um, set. The, the actual arm is a hybrid, a bit of um, trumpeter and a bit of Airfix. The Airfix one is is folded away. The trumpeter one gives you the option for folding out, but but looks inaccurate. So I've had to do a, um, cut them both about to, to make a, a decent looking arm there. But I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, the decals are all from the kit so far. I have used a uh, big pardon. I have used an Atlantic Models decal there around the the, the forward gun. Um, and you can see these bits here are all etch replacements around the kit parts and, and they're totally missing off the, the trumpeter, you just get blanking plates there. Um, so um, the, the main armament has been done, currently working on getting that done so that we can then park one of the helicopters in there um, and then we can put the, the roof on that and continue the build. Um, there's some bits here in the, in the middle that we need to do um, next. Um, and this is going to be open with the, with the ladders down. Um, and then you can see here, if I just uh, 
have. Yeah, we can see that better now. Um, light's not great in here at the moment. You can see that there's some figures in there and I've uh, painted in the uh, the floor a different colour and in, there's, there's quite a lot of reference material on the internet. So that's my build so far. Oh, we've got a button in um, We have built a little high up um, and that will be out at sea. Um, with a bit of wake behind it and what have you yet to be modelled. Um, so that's where we are at the moment. Um, I would say probably uh, halfway, maybe not quite halfway through the build at, at, at this stage. Um, still quite a bit to go. Um, so th that's my introduction to um, HMS Dragon. You can see that the decal is, is already on there. Um, the paints that I've used have been um, so far Humbrol in the main. The black is Vallejo Air. Um, the, the hull is Humbrol's Ghost Grey. Um, and I forget what, what the name is for the deck colour, but it's what's referenced in the kit, which, which looked pretty much bang on. Um, so, yeah. Really happy with how it's going at the moment. There's some bits here that are um, dry fitted and not actually attached. Um, like I say, we need to get the hanger finished so the roof can go on because that then relates to some of the parts that I'm building here. So I don't want to put that bit on and, and until I've got this bit on because of how close it sits and I can't put that on until the roof is on and I can't put the roof on until that's and so, and so on and so forth. But yeah, so far I'm really happy with how that's going. Um, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. Still got some work to do on the sea. I don't often do seascapes, I tend to do full hull, so, so this has been quite interesting um, to do. Um, and as you can see, this isn't um, fixed down as yet, so, um, but I know the location of it. I may well have a little helicopter in this corner. Um, on, on a little bit of wire flying if I can pull that off then, and that's something we'll do as well. So that's my um, Airfix Type 45. There'll be more videos coming as I progress the build. Thanks for looking in uh, and if you're interested in seeing how this all comes together then please subscribe. Take care. <laughs>